Listen to Brainers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today I'll be going over the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Mecha Godzilla with Heave, Vehicle, and Battle Damage Reveal for the Blockbuster movie. Oh man, I've been waiting for this guy. I, I gotta check this out. We took so much heat, or I took so much heat for posting this uh, picture on there. People were so pissed. I want to see if this guy is worth it. <laughs> right? Um, so if you guys didn't know, <laughs> Mecha Godzilla is in the new movie. Oh my god, we're you not my life, Steve. That's uh, what I do. I ruined Jessica's life, I ruined your guys's too. It's all right. <laughs> but um decided to pick up the figure because it's new, it's unique. We're gonna we're gonna do Playmates videos until they stop doing Playmates figures. <laughs> so uh, but at least like looking at him from the package, he looks kind of cool. His head's kind of fat. Um the head is a little off. Compared to some of the, like the photos I've seen or like the prototype photos. Yeah, like it works for the legendary universe, but we'll have to get them out to really uh, get to the nitty gritty with them. So, anyways, without further ado, for the packaging, pretty much the same as all the other playmates. You got like the burning building on the bottom with the blue and the little like computer grid pattern. Got Kong and Godzilla on the back about to slap some hands. Do I don't know what that means, but not sure. Uh, I got Silicon on the side, stuff on the other side. On the back, just shows everybody else has come out in the line. Uh, doesn't show the Hong Kong battle ones though on the back. Yeah, I think that's something different. And I did see some of those, more of those miniature figures, so I don't know if they're real or not. Oh, a robotic apex predator with unstoppable powers of laser destruction. Mega Godzilla was created in a secret to destroy Godzilla and the reign of monsters. Oh my god, he da, has da, lasers. Da. He's got freaking lasers, man. Lasers. <laughs> I would be upset if Mega Godzilla didn't have lasers. I almost like he probably doesn't have micro, uh, missile fists cuz these kind of look like they're maybe like drilly. Yeah. Um, he's got like a little stabby thing. But anyways, let's get this guy opened up out of his cardboard prison. All right, so now we got Mega Gods opened up out of his cardboard prison. First and foremost, we'll go over his one accessory. Also, you'll have to attach his tail. Yeah, uh, Steve, untach it and show people how it's done properly. Jeez. Yeah. All right, so you got a ball joint there. Push it onto the ball joint. Make sure you go straight in. Bam, good to go. Anyways, onto the heave. All right, so for the heave, it's oddly enough, I think like one of the only accessories that has some paint on it. The uh, window. Or yeah, you got the window is metallic silver, and then the ship is actually green. I feel like it's just one of those generic toys like the Samuel L. Jackson from the Kong movie where it's just like generic, generic, you know? But this is in the movie. So is Samuel Jackson. It's the, well, yeah, but it was... Well, I guess like that toy was actually like made specific for that. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I know it's hollow. It's like hollow earth air vehicle, something like that. I don't remember what it is. Uh, but like detail-wise, it looks fine. I kind of wish it maybe had something to like kind of make it like floating. Um, but outside of that, the coloring on it's not too bad, and it's nice that it's, um, I think I have the other one hanging around here. It's got a little bit more going on than the other one that we got with, um, I think it was a skull crawler, which has black in the window. So, you do get, like, multiple versions of these. Then moving on to Mecha Godzilla. First and foremost, for his head sculpt, that jawline is gigantic. The jawline is hideous. <laughs> Look at that. It's so Ooh. big. <laughs> I do like the amount of detailing, though. Like, he almost kind of looks like he has teeth. It looks like he has a cylinder in his mouth because of that. All the way the jaws. Yeah. Uh, he's also got a little hole on the top here, which also has detailing for the roof of the mouth. Again, another thing I'm kind of surprised about. But what the hole's here for is if you have extra beam effects laying around, you can actually put one of them in. But, Steve, the box says not beam. Uh, not a beam. It's supposed to be laser. It's sort of a laser. I guess so. Godzilla, when I was a kid, I was, was like, Godzilla shoots lasers out of his mouth. It's just a really big laser. Really big, unfocused, flame-looking laser. Um, but I do like his tiny, beady little eyes. Which, I uh, to me, I always thought they looked, like, gigantic when I was looking at other, like, promotional pictures and stuff. But on the actual toy, it's just got little red eyes. It's not bad, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, to me, it's... Still very reminiscent of the way Legendary Godzilla looks. Granted, the head's a little huge compared to, like, the Legendary Godzilla. So I figure if that's just... I don't know if that's just a figure or if it's actually. I don't... Thing. Yeah. Because then you'll be able to... Because we haven't fully seen him in the movie. Like, yeah. we know he's in the trailer, but it's, like, little glimpses. While on the actual figure, 
it's yeah we don't really got anything to reference until next week um but moving down to don't the you have a, where's that godzilla yeah right here look at the difference in the head sizes right here yeah oh just between the two yeah, yeah. look can... at that yeah so that's the one thing like when people are saying like it's godzilla like he's wearing like god like a godzilla suit or something because even like a hologram would look weird you would yeah. think so um, i don't know it's just the but then again, movies are movies that can kind of do whatever they want. Godzilla almost died to elbow drops, but can survive being dropped from the atmosphere. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, man, those were great is, elbow drops by Mudo's. Okay? Right? So, yeah. Um, also, he does have battle damage. And one thing I really love about this is when you put the plate on, it's actually hard to tell where the damage is. Yeah, you can't. It blends really well. Like You can see it a little bit more from the sides. But the way it encompasses the figure, it actually hides pretty well compared to the other ones. But it does just pop off to reveal some more metal. So it's just like metal skin pops off to reveal more metal. Metal and metal. Hey, damage is damage, I guess. Yeah. Um, moving down the rest of the kaiju, you have his red spines, which has the three segmenting sections until it hits the tail. And then it's just the one. He has what appears to be like little jetpacks or something on him. Oh, you know what? That kind of looks like missile launchers. You know, that's what I was thinking, because it looks like it, there is something in there. Right? But how does that work? Because the shoulder pads are in the way. I think the shoulder pads might move, and I don't know. I it's hope just, so. <laughs> otherwise, it backfires on them. Um, the one thing about this, the design of this guy that I'm not a super huge fan of is the way his arms and legs look, though. They're very boxy. Like He looks like he almost has like train cars for arms and legs. So yet again, question is, how did a, I don't know, I guess I'll just have to wait and see here in a few days. Yeah, because I imagine the plating here is just mainly meant for armoring. But then again, this also kind of looks like, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to say this. Like, maybe this is where like he gets like shields or something. Maybe. Like the little boxes here maybe help to, like if he was being camouflaged, like this is where like the imaging's coming out of. Maybe that's why it's set up like that. But he's got like some pistons on the back. It looks like a wheel hanging out here. So that's something. Um, his arms look like little graspers. He's got four fingers, two on the top, two on the bottom. So I imagine it's mainly for like pinching and grabbing. But then again, you can maybe like they spin kind of like a drill. Because that's sort of like the way the arms are set up too. That kind of makes me more in like line to hero? think that's like a weapon. Kinda, or like Megalon. It's what it reminds me of. It's more like Mogira and Megalon. No, Kiryu. Remember Kiryu where he put his fingers together and made that drill? Yeah, yeah sort of like that. But this is more like open-handed. He's um, able to do more with it, in another word. Yeah, but you can see the rib cages on the side of the figure. On the back here, he's got more of that plating on the top here. And then he's got some gigantic feet with four toes. His feet and his hands are massive. Yeah, especially, again, when compared to Legendary. Um, his feet are fairly, like, elephant-esque, while this guy's got definitely more, yeah, like, traditional feet. Um, because they did make them bigger for 2019, and especially well, this one. not that big. Well, not that big. Um, and then for the tail, uh, it's just little separated sections, but you do get this, like, little fork blade thing going on at the end of the tail. I wonder what he's going to do with that. Imagine he stabs somebody with it. At least I hope so. That'd be kind of cool. I hope he stabs Colin. That's where that shoulder damage comes from, you know? Right in the bush where you can, like, slash with it. Maybe yeah. it's kind of like a blade. Um, but other than that, detail-wise, not too bad for playmates. Uh, then moving on to his articulation. No rotation at the head, but the mouth can open and close. Arms can go up and down, forward and back, but the plate here does get in the way. And then that's it for the arms. There is no bend at the elbows. There's no rotation. There's no rotation at the hands. Nothing at the waist. Legs can go outwards, full splits. And there's about that far. Uh, it can get pretty decent forward and back. But again, a little plate here kind of gets in the way. It does have a articulation at the knees. His feet can rotate all the way around. And the tail is on a ball joint, so you can get the move. Um, I was kind of thinking this might be like a bendy wire. But it's not. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's not. It's just kind of here but you can rotate all the way around if you want 
Just quick comparisons here. We have the Playmates Mecha Godzilla compared next to some other Godzilla vs. Kong figures from Playmates with the Hong Kong battle figures of Godzilla and Kong. Here is with the first release Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Kong and Warbat. Here is next to some SH Monster Arts figures with the Godzilla 2019 figure and the Mecha Godzilla 1974. Here is next to some other Mecha Godzillas in my collection with the Bandai Vinyl Mecha Godzilla 2, or you may know as the Heisei Mecha Godzilla. And the Power Up Mecha Godzilla from Trimasters. And here's some random comparisons with the NECA Pacific Grim Crimson Typhoon and the Hasbro Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Ranger Slayer from the comics. So, overall, for the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Mecha Godzilla figure, this thing's sweet for 10 bucks. Oh, God, yeah. It gives a good representation of what the uh, monster will be. Yeah, I think it'd be like a, an okay placeholder until we get the. Um, or if we get a Monster Arts one. Yeah. So if you're planning on buying the Monster Arts Godzilla, this could, I think, stand up okay next to it. It's not going to be great, but it, it's not going to be the worst thing ever. Um, and then compared to a lot of the other Playmates vs. Godzilla figures, this thing's actually really nicely detailed, and I really like the articulation. I kind of wish it had a beam, especially since it has a spot for the beam in the mouth instead of the heave vehicle. Yeah. I think it's really the only thing that throws me through a loop. Um, but again, I think for the price point... I, Beggars can't be choosers at that no, point, you know? No. I, I, I'm kind of disturbed by the look, but I'm set with the figure. Yeah, it's. I gotta see the movie to really fully give my thoughts on the way Mega Godzilla looks. Like, the way the figure is, I, do, I think he's probably gonna be my least favorite outside of the city. I was about to say, Jesus <laughs> Christ, Steve, you might want to eat those words here in a minute. Um, this anime Godzilla is definitely like on the bar of disappointment. <laughs> I'm about to put you on a blast, but damn it, you recovered. But uh, for the figure wise, there isn't really much for me to complain about in terms of just like an articulated toy, except for like no arm articulation is weird. If you find it, buy it. It's that simple. Yeah, 10 bucks. Go for it. Don't, for the love of God, don't pay $130 on eBay. Oh, Jesus, no. What do you guys think? If you guys picked up this figure, what's your favorite Godzilla versus Kong action figure or is King of the Monsters more you think? Please let us know in the comments. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, Facebook. Guys, like people with the video with channel donate. We greatly appreciate it. And help us beat those kaijus by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come around today. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.